Hey guys, uh, this is a 2014 Ford um, Titanium Escape. Uh, need to do a headlight replacement on the HID low, lower bulb. Now, tricky part is, is that the HIDs are sitting way deep in there. Uh, they're not like a conventional halogen bulb and you can't get your fingers in there really easy at all that's for sure on top of that this is the replacement bulb here but they have this little bracket here that holds it to the the housing so basically there's this little notch right here that holds that on there work this up get the notch off there see this is in between here and then this piece here has two screws real tiny so again these two this piece here holds the light to the housing with two of these torx bits Do -do -do and they are a size t10 now what i did initially is i didn't know how these this this came out and i busted the shit out of it but what i did actually to get it out was took a screwdriver to disconnect the wire connector and then i used this little doohickey It's a, what size is this? I believe it's two inches. I don't remember for sure. But it's a three quarter inch drive with an adapter for a half inch and then a three eighths inch drive. And that, my friends, fit in this hole very nicely. And also, was able to fit across, or fit just over this. So that fit in there, allowing me to break off <laughs> this piece, the light bulb break it out to get it out of the housing and initially I thought that the bulb looking at this new one was just a kind of like a find a certain spot twist it out and then you're good but that's not how it works so this is a little troubleshooting help guide to people who have the same situation most Fords this may be able to help what I did too was once I got the light bulb out, then I took a magnetic bit, used my camera phone to go in there, kind of used it like this to see where I was going, and then also get the, the housing out. So, just uh, FYI, again, 2014 Ford Escape with the HIDs. Without removing the whole headlight assembly and the and the front bumper, that's how I have come to get it out so far. So the one bolt went in okay uh, without having to use a flexible rod, but this other side over here is gonna be more challenging. Um, note to self and note to everybody else when you try to put this on. Highly recommend just putting a little dab of super glue on the screw head. <laughs> um, this is a flexible shaft, so it'll turn with it. This is like a little kit got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was like, I don't know, $13 or something. But then the it's not the strongest magnet magnetism, so when you're trying to go in here, 
Uh, if you don't have that lined up perfectly, you're going to drop a screw in there like I did. Luckily, I was able to fish it out with this thing and as far as the magnetic piece goes. So right now, again, um, use some super glue at the very tip, just a little bit. And then this flexible shaft should allow me to use my camera again. It's gonna be difficult to do with him, but you know what I'm saying. Do this, and then um, find out where the hole goes. So it's tight. It's super glued right now, probably. Yep. Super glue on there. And the screws back there. So both screws are in place now. Again, using this flexible thing what I had to do actually to start that screw was take the screw super glued to the bit here take it like this go on the side feel the way start it in and then I was able to connect it through there onto there and then I threw on the orange piece so it takes a little bit of finesse in there but was able to get both of them in there I just gotta plug it up and make sure that it turns on up click in all right that's good now we're gonna see if it works and it works i change this side now but so now we are over here to the driver side showing again this is the stock bulb in here put down there Unscrewing one side here. Doing this the right way. I don't have to take the two inch socket onto it to break it off. Slowly. Magnetized. No super glue on that one. This side here is going to be a little more difficult. Probably we'll need the reach. So this outer screw on the outside towards the fender is a lot more difficult to reach as you have the HID bulb to get around. So in order to get that on there, what I had to do is kind of use a few fingers to guide the bit with this flexible rod or shaft I should say onto the screw bit and then once I was able to do that turn it a few times with the fingers then you can attach that um, screw handle to start unscrewing it. I think it's ready to come out so with my finger I use my middle finger to hold the bolt head there we go just like that and take it out now that is good to go so I busted that just trying to get this off it's got little springs that hold it on to the backing on the back there a lot easier a lot harder than when you break it off with the nice little MacGyver right there so then here oh yeah make sure that you unplug that first while it's still bolted in with the screwdriver just get in there and push it down and it'll pop off because if you try to do it with the light bulb still connected 
Um, it's a lot more difficult that way. So here, I'm gonna put this bracket on to the new bulb that it's replacing. Take the nice little condom off. I'm gonna put it in here. So that's where it should be right now. It's not moving. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the easy thing and put this side in first and then worry about the fender side over here will be my last bolt. So again, I'm using the flexible piece. So I have to guide that screw in there. Got it enough to screw that on, get it started. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, we've got the concept here of getting some super glue on the bit to go on the outside one where it's more difficult. And I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of cup it and hold it to there um, as best as possible. I can't do this with two or one hand, so let's see. Yeah, look at it. Be real treat if I can do it for you. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Put it right in there. Get it started. I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab this piece. Put it on there. Tighten it up. This would not be possible probably without this flexible shaft. Little cable shaft. And it came out with the super glue too. Have a, some bits in there. Take a peek. Screws right in there. It's good. Let's connect this connector in here real quick. Ridiculous size hole to put this in. Okay, got it. There we go. Well, she's in. Shazam, Shazam, kabam. Too excited, anyways. Pop the cherry. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if this turns on. And we got lights. So. And hopefully you guys use this, could use this as some help. It's difficult. I you always know, find it much easier to have a little helping hand. 
if and when possible. So there it is.